Now, analysis views is something I definitely want to talk about because they're very, very powerful. So none of these account schedules have an analysis view attached to them at this point. But if we go into analysis views and just have a look at how they're set up and how powerful they can be. So in this case, we've created one for, we just called it general ledger. So basically you would just come in here and click new and then give it a code. So you can have any number of analysis views that you require. So you give it a code and a name and then you tell it where it's getting the information from, either a GL account or a cash flow account. If you want it filtered for a specific GL or a specific group of GLs, you can set that filter here. And then it allows you to have a date compression. Now, this is coming from what I spoke about earlier where we've enabled the update on posting. So when you create an analysis view, the starting date, if you're creating this day one of using Business Central, use that date. But if you're creating this after the fact, you want to pick a date in the future so that when it runs, so as far back in the future as you would want to look at this analysis, so that it'll run when we enable it and it'll pull in all those entries to create this data warehouse. So I've created this one and set it to January 1st, 2019. Once you've done that, you can click Enable on Posting in the ribbon. And what it'll do is run through, it'll build this, and then it will default this to true. You also have the ability to include budgets. In this case, I chose not to. And this particular analysis view, we've selected two dimensions. Again, on each analysis view, you can select up to four dimensions. Once we've created it, if we're in analysis views and we want to see what basically this will give us, we can click on analysis by dimension. And again, we have basically an options page. So it's telling me I'm in this analysis view. What do I want to see on the lines? So maybe on the lines, I want to see my GL accounts. And maybe I want the columns to be my department. Then we come down into here. Obviously, we're going to pick a date range and then we're going to pick an account filter. So again, if we come into here and let's just say we want our expense accounts. So we can filter and only see expense and then select them all. And when we click OK, it's going to populate the accounts that we've selected into the account filter. We then have further options. We can show actual amounts, budgeted, variance, variance percentages, so on and so forth. The amount field can, again, be amount, debit, or credit, whether we include closing entries or not. If we want a rounding, show amounts and additional currency again, and then I do have this set to true to show column name. So for example, if your dimensions had codes as numbers that may not be as meaningful and you show the name, then it will show the name. And then again, if we wanna show the opposite sign, and down here we can set the matrix options to view by, in this case I chose month and net change, and here's my column set that it's gonna show me. We've now got all that set. This is what I want to see. And if we click on Show Matrix, it's now going to show us, here's our GL accounts for the GL accounts we chose. And it now has our values broken out by our dimension values. Not only does it do this, which gives us a lot of flexibility and visibility, we can drill into these numbers. to actually see what makes up that number. And then we can drill further. 
And then we can also export this to Excel. And the export to Excel is really nice because, as I said, it allows you the ability to create pivot tables from the data. The other thing it does, if you have a particular dimension that has quite a few values, maybe you have customer type and you have 10 different customer types. When you look at the matrix, it will only show you a set number of columns at a time. In order to see the next set, you can go back here and click next set and it will take you to the next set. But if you export it to Excel, you will see all the columns. So one last thing here, once you've created this, let's say for example, I wanna see my departments as lines and my GL accounts as columns, you have the ability to just click on this quickly and then it just flips the two of them. And now I have my departments and my GL accounts and I've asked to see the names. So that's why I see the names of the GL accounts instead of the GL account numbers.